This video is not meant to replace any Vitex systems user manuals. To open Vitex FlexPrep, double click the FlexPrep icon located on the computer desktop and log in. By default, the sample preparation screen will display. Click on the To Full Screen button every time that FlexPrep is launched. This is necessary for optimal screen display and workflow. The Vitek 2 PC field displays the PC to which the FlexPrep cassette will be sent. When connected to multiple PCs, more than one PC option is available for this selection. Only one PC will be used for this video. Cassettes created must be loaded into an instrument connected to the selected Vitek 2 PC. The Instruments pane displays what instruments are connected to the Vitek 2 PC. In this video, one instrument is connected. Click in the Cassette ID field. Enter an alphanumeric code up to four digits to uniquely identify the cassette. Pressing Enter will redirect the user to the Cassette Definition screen of Sample Preparation Mode. The Cassette Definition screen consists of a summary pane depicting the high-level details of the 15 slots in each cassette. Additionally, the screen contains the Isolate Definition section, where information about an isolate and its associated card is entered. For single ID cards, enter the Lab ID, Isolate Number, and Bench if enabled. At the Card Type field, enter the barcode number either by scanning the barcode or by manually entering the card barcode number. Once the card type is entered, a graphic of the isolate will appear displaying a card and a test tube. Enter the organism quantity or a McFarland value if desired. In this video, the Vitek DensiCheck will be used to record McFarland values. Prepare the organism suspension using well-isolated colonies of an appropriate age from an appropriate media. The Vitek DensiCheck will indicate if the suspension is of the correct turbidity or requires adjustment. Press the button on the back of the pod to transfer the accepted McFarland value onto Vitek FlexPrep. When the button is pushed on the pod, a second small McFarland value appears on the meter. This indicates the button push was recognized and the McFarland value sent to FlexPrep. Organism, AST offline test, and BP infection site fields are unavailable for ID cards. Confirm all the details of the isolate are correct and then validate or press F12 to save the information and advance to the next slot and begin setting up cards for the next isolate. Removing the tube from the pod causes the meter in FlexPrep to be hidden. Before sending the cassette to the instrument, it is good practice to click the Summary button or press F9 to access the cassette summary screen for reviewing card details. Ensure that the software matches the physical cassette. Once an isolate has been validated, it can no longer be edited. If changes need to be made, the isolate will have to be deleted and set up again. Click back or press F9 to return to the cassette definition screen. Upon completion of a cassette, click the Send Cassette icon or press F10 to send the cassette to the Vitek 2 PC. A confirmation dialog box will appear. Select OK to send the cassette. The definition will be sent to all of the listed instruments. The last step is to load the cassette into the instrument. Remember to choose an instrument connected to the Vitek 2 PC that was selected when defining the cassette. 